got my letter and I'm going to post it in this post box here. But to post a letter, we need to put an address on the front of the envelope. Most addresses start with a house number or a building name, and then a street, and then a town or a city. And lastly, we put something called a postcode. And a postcode is made up of different numbers and letters. And every street has a different postcode. But there is something missing. I need to stick something to this envelope. Do you know what it is? Yes, that's right. It's a stamp. There we are. Right, let's pop it in the post box and find out what happens. At the same time every day, the postman or postwoman collects all the letters and cards from the post box and takes them to a place called the sorting office. Thousands of letters arrive here every single day in these red bags to be sorted. All of the letters go into this machine. It's called an Integrated Mail Processing Machine, or IMP for short. And the machine sorts the letters. Look, you can see my letter. There it goes. The letters fall into this spinning drum. And inside, they get separated into different sizes. When the letters have made it out of the drum, they travel along these belts until they get here, and then they whiz off further down the line. The letters are sorted as they zoom along all these moving belts. They're really fast and really noisy. It's a bit like the letters are on a roller coaster ride. But to find out how the imp machine sorts the letters, I think we need to take a closer look. When the letter goes into the imp machine, it can tell which way up the letter is, because the stamp is always on the top right-hand corner. If it's upside down, it turns it the right way round. All stamps have invisible strips of special ink on them, called phosphor ink. is under a camera, which reads the address and the postcode. The machine turns the address and postcode into a number and prints it as a series of lines on the envelope. This is called a plan code. The plan code is what's used by all the other machines on the letter's journey to get it to the right place. So, I thought I could show you what the imp machine sees by using my special ultraviolet light. And the ultraviolet light will let us see the phosphor ink stripes on the stamps. Should we take a look? Ready? Wow, look at that. We can see two stripes either side of the first class stamp and one stripe in the middle of the second class stamp. letters will arrive more quickly than second-class letters. The sorted letters come out of the ink machine on these trays. <laughs> Thanks! And here is our letter. And can you see this little pink strip here? That's the plan code. So from now on, all of the other sorting machines will know where this letter's going. Next, the letter is put onto a trolley and loaded into a van with other letters that are going to the same part of the country. And it ends up here, at a local delivery office. The last step is to sort the letters that have been addressed to the CBB's house. They're put into a big grey bag. And now the letters are off to the CBB's house. Postman Pat has delivered the post. Shall we take a look? Oh, 
Wow, here I am inside the CBeebies house. Oh, Rebecca, you got my letter. Yes, thank you, Maddie. It's arrived safe and sound. Oh, we've been finding out how posting a letter works. I can't wait to find out all about it. It was brilliant. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember the name of the machine that read the addresses? That's right, it was called the Imp Machine. Did you hear the sound the imp machine made? It was really noisy. And did you see the phosphor ink stripes on the stamps under my UV light? 